Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In today's class, we will discuss how to do the isometric view of the given diagram. Isometric view means three-dimensional diagram. Okay, of given sphere. Sphere means it is a circular one. Okay, which is mounted centrally on the top square block. Here we need to do the combined diagram of the square block and sphere. Okay, if you are taking, for example, this is a square block. The top surface is square. Square means all four sides has equal length and this side also square, all four sides has equal length. So this is a square block on which centrally one sphere is mounted like this. Okay. And centrally means at the center of this square. Okay. This is a sphere. We need to do the three dimensional diagram of this. Okay. Let us take the given data initially. After that, we will do the asymmetric diagram. A sphere of diameter 50 mm. Diameter of the sphere is... 50 mm or 5 cm is mounted centrally on the top square block of side 60 mm. So, square block each side is 60 mm. Okay, this is 6 cm, this is 6 like that. And thickness 20 mm. This square block thickness is 2 cm. This is 6 cm each side it has given. And thickness is 20 mm. This one is 2 cm. Please stop. Draw the isometric view of the arrangement. If you do roughly arrangement, so this is the square, okay, roughly I am doing here without any instruments, okay, this is the square block, let us assume, and uh, this is, thickness is 2 cm, and the uh, east side is 6 cm, and on which at the center, one sphere will be there, okay, sphere is looking like circle, okay, in three dimensional diagram also, this diagram we need to do. For doing this diagram, initially we need to do the front view, how the front view is looking. If you are keeping the given arrangement like this, if you see from front, we can see this thickness, it is 20 mm, this is 6 cm, this is 6 cm and this circular one. Okay, initially we need to do this diagram. Front view means it is a two dimensional diagram. Okay, let us do this diagram initially, roughly I will do here. So we can see this 20 mm or 2 cm thickness block. Okay, let us take this is 2 cm, this is 2 cm and this is square side, east side, 6 cm, this is 6 cm. This sphere is mounted centrally means we need to do the center line just for taking at the center. Whatever radius of this, how much radius of the sphere? Diameter is 5 cm means radius is 2.5 cm. So from this mark the center, okay, give the center name and do the sphere. Sphere is looking like circle from the front. From any view, uh, sphere is looking like circle. So this is the two-dimensional diagram. We can call it as orthographic view. Initially, we will do this diagram by using the drawing instruments. After that, by using this, we will do this diagram. Okay, this is the 2D diagram. This is a 3D diagram. Or we can call it as orthographic drawing. This is the isometric drawing. Let us do this one. First, do this rectangle. Okay, so this is 6, this is 2. Do one rectangle initially. doing the 6 cm line, take 2 cm this side, 2 cm this side. Take this is the reference, move the scale, here do the line, on it mark 2 cm. This is 2 cm, join these two ends. After that, find the center of this, it is 6 cm means at 3 cm. So here just do one line of some length. Take this as a reference, at this point just do one thin line. After doing the center line, mark the center of the spear. Okay, for marking center, center is as you know, it is radius. Okay, so diameter is 5 cm, radius is 2.5 cm, mark center 2.5 cm. Just do circle by using this center. Now take this is the radius, this is the center by using compass. Do spear.
okay this is the two dimensional diagram of the given arrangement now we will do this diagram in the three dimensional view so this is the two dimensional diagram in the front view we can see like this okay take any one of the point as center i am giving o okay it is a front view that's why we are keeping dash here uh, give the corner names initially i will take small letters for front view we have to mark small letters a dash b dash like that uh, let us do this diagram in isometric view okay before doing the isometric view i want to tell one thing whatever this sphere is here in any direction it is looking like circle only okay so circle dimensions or sphere dimensions are as it is whenever we are keeping in 2d or 3d okay this dimension has no change whatever other dimensions this two dimensions will change and this dimension also from this point to this point how much it is it is nothing but radius of the circle this will also change okay always remember doing the isometric views the sphere dimensions are constant as it is in isometric views the other remaining dimensions this dimension this dimension and this center point to center of this sphere this dimension three dimensions will change why means if you are taking the 3d object like this whatever this sides these are looking like tilting okay so whatever tilting uh, length we are seeing it is getting reduced okay so this length if it is tilting according to the isometric uh, according to this position this will getting reduced okay so that's why the other three dimensions will reduced so how much dimensions we, uh, how much dimension we have to take means so we have to multiply with one value let us take this value 60 into 0.816 mm okay we have to multiply 60 value with this value so we'll get the reduced value in three dimensional diagram we have to take that value and here also for this also we need to calculate here no need to write uh, in the sheet just you have to calculate the value and you have to mark that value in the diagram only just for getting the how this reduced value is coming i am writing here so this 60 we have to change this 20 also we have to change 0 0.816 mm and for marking this uh, from this point to this point it is nothing but radius we have to change that value also so calculate all these three values by using the calci so initially we need to do 60 into 0.816 how much it is 48.96 so 48.96 means we can take 49 okay 49 mm now calculate the next value always remember this value we need to uh, multiply with this number only okay and the next value is 20 into 0.816 so this is 16.32 okay mm how much this is in centimeter 1.63 okay or we can take 1.6 centimeters now take the next value 25 into 0.816 this value is 20.4 Okay, mm. Take in centimeters approximately 2 centimeters. Now let us take this new dimensions, do the diagram here. As I told, this diameter is as it is in isometric view also. Let us do this box initially here. So as I told, in isometric view, whatever lines are there, horizontal lines, all are tilting 30 degrees like this. Okay, if you are taking three dimensional diagram, this all lines are tilting. There are no horizontal lines, but vertical lines are as it is. Initially take the initial point, which point we are taking A dash. In isometric view, we are giving the capital letters. I will mark initially capital A. Here I will do one horizontal line. Okay, here I will take tilted lines. How much angle tilting in isometric view? 30 degrees. This side 30 degrees. Take tilted lines, which are tilting 30 degrees. Here also 30 just do one line this side one line this side now here this is 30 this is 30 no need to mark here now take ab length this ab length how much it is 60 mm but in isometric view we have calculated this value 4.9 centimeters so by using compass take 4.9 centimeter Okay, take this value 
Sumar Dissar. Now give the name here B. Okay, let us take A, B. Here I am taking this is the B point. After marking this value. Now this is a square block. Okay, all four sides has equal length. Okay, let us take the same value that is 4.9. This side we have marked. Okay, take the same side this side also. Take the same length this side also. After marking this value. Now this is a square block. Okay, all four sides has equal length. Okay, let us take the same value that is 4.9. This side we have marked. Okay, take the same side this side also. Take the same length this side also. Now at this point also do the line parallel to this because all horizontal lines are tilting. Whatever this side line is there it is parallel to this line. Okay, so just make it one line here. Take this is a reference line by using roller scale. Do the line here like this. Okay, now here also at B we have to do one line which is parallel to this line. Take this is a reference line. Move the scale at B. Just do the line. Okay, uh, let us give the name A, B and this is C, D for the bottom surface of the block. Okay, if you are taking roughly here. So here A I am giving, here B, here C. So the inner point, whatever point is coming, it is D. Okay, we did the bottom surface. Now we need to take the thickness. How much thickness? 2 cm. So for 2 cm in isometric view, we have to take 1.6 cm. As I told previously, vertical lines will indicate the thickness. Vertical lines are coming as it is at all the points. So instead of 2 cm, we need to take 1.6 cm. For doing the vertical line, take this as a reference line. Move the scale at all points. Just do one vertical line here. At all the points, do the vertical lines. of some length so on all these vertical lines mark this thickness 2 cm that is 1.6 so this is 1.6 now here do the line parallel to this here also do the line parallel to this Now here do the line parallel to this. Now here do the line parallel to this. So this is the square block. Okay, it is a square block. So this sphere is mounted on the square block centrally. Okay. So first find the center of this top surface. You have to find center of this by joining opposite ends. Okay. Now initially give the names A, B, C, D for bottom surface are given. Here E, F, G, H. Remove the extra lines so that it is looking like perfect square block. Here make it dark. Now find the center of it, join opposite ends, do the thin line, okay, for getting the center. Now join these two points, this point and this point, top surface points, okay. So this is the center. Center point means this point. We can give any name here. I am giving uh, P dash point, small letters for front view. Here I am taking capital P in isometric view. Now after marking this, mark this length on the vertical line. Okay, what is this length? It is nothing but radius of it. So this is radius of the sphere. How much it is? 25. But we need to mark instead of 25 mm, we have to take 2 cm because we have multiplied with this number. Okay, so from P, mark 2 cm and mark O. So from P, take 2 cm. Okay, mark capital O. This is the center of this sphere. Okay, here after getting sphere, uh, this part is not visible okay now if you are keeping the spear like this on it okay, if you see here so if you are keeping the spear like this we can't see this behind part okay so this corner we can't see so just make it light this one this one and this one 
this part also we can't see you can make as dotted line also initially we'll do the spear okay so this is the spear we need to remove this uh, behind lines okay all lines so that it is looking like perfect spear here the top block uh, sides are here invisible because the spear is solid if you want to do lines do the dashed line or dotted line up to this g point i have removed that g point also this corner and this one g and c okay just do dashed line here no need to mark the corner dashed line means at equal distance uh, small lines and here also do the dashed line getting the diagram mark the given dimension so square block each side is how much 60 mm but here we have reduced the values instead of 60 we took this values but no need to mark here the new values whatever given values are there mark those values only 60 here i have marked so square block means i kept the square and 60 this is the dimensional line parallel to this line okay no need to mark the dimension all the four sides okay mark only one side and keep this symbol square symbol and take the thickness on the vertical line 20 mm okay it is it has whatever value has given take that one and then radius of this how much it is same value 50 mm the diameter radius is 25 mm so i kept the arrow line here and outside the diagram i have marked the dimension sr means sphere 25 okay this is a method of doing the isometric view of the given sphere you need always remember one thing the sphere dimensions are not changing whatever direction we are seeing sphere it is looking like constant size the other dimensions okay those are changing because in isometric view all the lines are tilting at the time we are seeing this reduced values we have to multiply the given values with this number 0 0.816 remember this value whatever reduced values are there you have to mark in it okay this is a method of doing the isometric view for the sphere which is mounted centrally on the square block if you like this lecture hit the like button subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you for watching